a quick new idea daily from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. If you want to move towards a more sustainable future, why not start at home? David Witsenator created an at-home system that gets composting started in your kitchen with some squirmy little helpers. He wants us all to invite some new house guests to help combat food waste. Worms. Garbage collectors spending hours and hours of their lifetime to get our bin, empty it in the truck, to finally dump it on a landfill or burn it in a power plant. This little plastic bag full with waste, which seems to be so little, costs us so much energy, lifetime, and money. Now, I proudly present you the little animals who will help us to deal with our waste. Their scientific name is Isenia foetida, better known as red worm, compost worm, or earthworm. Their ability is that they love to eat organic waste. They love it so much that they can eat up half of the body weight every day. And even more fascinating, at least for me, is what comes out of the end of the room. The shit black gold. <laughs> black gold, not as crude oil, but as fertile soil. But what has that to do with my little plastic bag full of waste? Compost worms live, as it is already stated, in compost heaps, somewhere on the countryside. But some clever people started to construct boxes where compost worms can live inside. So they are especially designed for them. So it is like a compost heap with worms isolated in a box. This box is then called worm box and you can put it wherever you want. I started my first worm box. Very simple, out of wood. I bought 1,000 worms online <laughs> and they came by post. We had it in our flat next to the kitchen table, actually there where we produced our organic food waste. We were able to put all our organic waste plus a bit of cardboard and paper inside. You need to know that we were four vegetarians who were cooking at least one or two times per day at home. So we really had a lot, a lot of food. And every day we were impressed how much they can eat. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you here, I made a little experiment. I removed a wall from my warm box and replaced it with glass. So I was able to have a look what was going on inside. I filled up the box with organic food scraps, paper and cardboard, added around 700 worms, and then I observed it for the next few weeks. And day 21, nearly everything decomposed and transformed into black soil. I was amazed. But I guess before I go on, many questions rose in your head, so I will try to answer them. Yeah, first question. Do the worms come out of the box at night? No, the worms prefer to stay inside because it's humid, dark, and full with waste. I'm sure this box is smelly. No, the box smells like soil from a forest. And when the box is closed, you not even smell the forest. So, but do I need to buy new worms after some time? No, the worms reproduce themselves in the box until they reach the maximum density. When they recognize that there are too many, they stop to reproduce and stay like it is. But what should I do when the box is full? Easy. You remove the worm castings and use it for your plants. Or if you don't have plants, you can give it to friends or you give it to a community garden. Farmers and scientists found out that it's worm 
Compost is one of the best ways how to provide plants with what they need. And maybe you're also asking, how, how can I separate the worms from the compost? There are some very interesting techniques how to do it. <laughs> so it is like a garbage bin where I can throw everything inside. Unfortunately not. My team and I are doing research to make it as easy to use as possible. But you need to know that you're dealing with animals and they need a little bit of attention. So, for example, they are vegan and they don't like so much spicy food. But those things, you, you catch up within a few weeks and when you're reading the instructions. <laughs> Sounds great. But to be honest, I would not uh, put worms into my flat. <laughs> I'm disgusted by them, and I'm sure many other people as well. I understand your concern, and there are many people who have the same opinion like you. Now imagine how it would be for other cities in the world. Millions of tons of waste not dumped or burned somewhere, thousands of trucks driving less on the road, and an undefinable amount of time saved for everybody out of us, my vision is that one day everybody has a warm box at home, <laughs> like having a fridge, integrated in the kitchen, well-designed and easy to use, so that everybody can decompose his or her waste in a decentralized way, reuse the compost you get for your plants, and enjoy funny pets. <laughs> so you can start on your own. There are instructions on the web how to build a warm box, and it's a really nice activity with friends or with children. Or you buy a ready-to-use box online. It is up to you if you want to be part of those pioneers decomposing waste in a much simpler way, producing something incredible, being happy with your new lovely pets, and by the way, carry less waste to the common albin. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Vienna, Austria. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx Donauinsel. Want to listen to more TEDx Talks? Visit our website at ted.com slash TEDxShorts. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you tomorrow.